Have you ever wondered how to highlight a particular sentence in a sea of words while you're showing a screenshot in your video with the help of Premiere Pro? I'm talking about something like this. It's not so difficult, so let's take a look. Hello everyone, this is Robin here from Gadgets360 and let's jump into Premiere Pro and sort this thing out. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon as well so that you do not miss out on any of our latest video. So I've imported the screenshot into the timeline and let's say I'm talking about this title in my video and I want that to be highlighted so that my audience can pay attention to just that. To do so, we'll have to create a mask around it using the pen tool or the rectangle tool. You can access those by long clicking here. I'll go with the rectangle for this one. Now create a rectangle around the text you want to highlight. After that's done, go to effect controls and open up your shape settings. Here you can change the fill color to your liking. I usually go with yellow since it tends to grab the most attention. And once you're done with that, it leaves a yellow block on your screen. To make it transparent, just go under the opacity tab in your effect controls and change the blend mode to multiply. And there you go. But this looks a bit jarring, doesn't it? Well, how about we add some motion to it? Now go over to effects and search for crop. Add it to the graphic layer you just created. And now make sure you are at the first frame on your timeline and in the crop effect change the right value to 100 and hit the little stopwatch button which will create a keyframe. Now go to the last frame and then change it to 0. This will give you a smooth motion. In case you want to make it even smoother, right click on a keyframe and select ease in. And there you go, it was as simple as that. See, I told you, it's really easy. So what did you guys think about this tutorial? Enjoyed it? If yes, please leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, please let me know what type of project you guys are working on. And if these tutorials helped you at any stage, I'll be really happy to read them. And as always, for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.